YouTube. Thanks for tuning in to my channel today. This video, you're going to see me complete this spring summer look that I'm wearing. Yes, it is still spring. It's not summer yet. Summer is June 21st, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyhow, call it what you like. You will see me complete this look, I should say, on my video channel today. The inspiration that I got this look from is from an app that I have on my phone by the name of, drumroll, Pinterest. Yep, Pinterest. I know many people have been to that website many times, so that's where I got this look from. So if you like to see me create the look, go ahead, watch the video. Let me know if you like it by thumbs up in the video and commenting below at the bottom, always. And in the meantime, I will see you again in 2015. Bye. Okay, so let's get started. So here, of course, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. We know that our eyebrows do frame our face, so that's most important these days. And that's what I'm going to um, go ahead and focus on right now. And I'm just filling them in as I normally do with the gel liner from a um, Smashbox palette I have. And the color is like a dark brown. I didn't get a chance to show it, but I can list it in the description box if anybody wants to know. So here now, what I'm doing is I'm going to use a white liner pencil just to act as a base before I apply my eyeshadow and to make the eyeshadows pop more. kind of worked all of the liner in I'm going to go ahead and apply this nice cream eyeshadow this one is by Bobbi Brown and I've had this shadow for um, quite some time but I just love the color payoff that it gives and the vibrancy that it has as well so I'm going to apply that um, in the sort of in the middle of my eyelid and I'm just going to use a patty motion to um, help it stick better and to um, intensify the look and now what I'm doing, I'm adding the um, lilac purple type color on the outer V on my eyelid. And I didn't show that one either, but again, if anyone needs to know the, the name of the product, I can list it in the description box. And so here, now I'm applying just a white beige type of eyeshadow in the inner corner of my eyes just to help um, highlight the area. So here I'm just adding what was left on those two brushes that I used with the purple and the blue. I'm adding that to my lower lid. And now I am um, using a black eyeshadow from the Smashbox palette. And I'm just um, creating an outer V to deepen the color and the look and to give it more depth. And so I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite eye. So now it's time to um, rim my lower lash line with a black eyeliner pencil. Very easy to do. Um, this is a liquid eyeliner by um, NYX and I'm just lining the top of my upper lash line very thinly as close as to the lash line as I can get and just winging it out just a tad bit, not too much. And now we must, we must add some mascara to our eyes and I'm going to add it to my upper lashes and lower lashes. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend in everything nicely so that there are no harsh lines left and I can get a soft look. Okay friends, so what I'm using now is the LA Girls Pro Concealer. The color is almond and I like this color in particular because it has a slight peachy tone to it which is going to help me cover up any dark areas that much better. 
and it sets the foundation for me to apply this wet n wild highlighter that i just put on top it's not really a highlighter but i'm using it to highlight and to uh, bring you know light to those parts of my face that the sun naturally hits and now what i'm doing is um, applying a foundation to my face i mix my two favorite um, liquid foundations the maybelline and the l'oreal i think they both are photo finish type of products so I'm just going to use this beauty blender just to blend everything together and make it look nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Wet n Wild powder to set the um, concealer that I apply under my eyes. And then I'm going to apply it to the forehead, to the bridge of my nose, and also to my chin area. And now here I'm using this bronzer. This one is by NYC. And I'm using that as a slight contour to my face. On to the lips. So now I am using a MAC lip liner pencil in the color Chicory. And I'm just using that to fill in my lips as well before I apply my lipstick. The lipstick I am using here is a MAC lipstick as well and this color is called Kinda Sexy. So I'm going for a new lip and most of the times I like to add a little bit of sheen to it. So that's what I did, added a bit of clear lip gloss on top of the lipstick. And now I'm just adding a bit of gold shimmer to um, kind of give more of a bronzy look and um, give you that natural glow. So I decided I didn't really want to leave my brow bone bare, so I just added a bit of a new color just to highlight the area. And that is the completed look. So now I'm just going to show you a bit of more footage of the final product and just doing a little bit of posing in the video. But i like to thank you all for tuning in to my video. And please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe and comment as well. I will see you again in 2015. Bye loves. Baby, baby, baby.